All right, here we go. We're back. We're live. We're here again. Um, we're going to add a few more updates. I think last week we kind of started putting stuff into our layout. Um, and I asked you to draw some shutters and things like that. You're going to have plenty of opportunity to do that. But I want to show you a quick and easy way to create some stair steps and add our basement foundation. If you remember our... Um, drawing from our original floor plan here come on come up there we go you can see that we have three basement windows in the foundation and we're going to add these windows we're going to add the basement to the um, plan and then we're going to add the stair steps in there as well so first thing I want to do is I want to start hiding some items here I want to hide the roof. I want to hide the ceiling. Uh, I think we can hide the porch. And I want to look at the floor plan first. So I'm going to double click on the floor plan to edit that. I want to hide everything else. All right, so with it everything hidden, I want to take that floor plan and kind of scoot underneath it, and I want to give it a thickness of three fourths. So we'll use that push pull tool, pull it down three fourths of an inch. So that's going to act like the sheathing or the plywood of our flooring, okay? Or the material that you place on top of the flooring. Kind of depends how you look at it, I guess. All right. Now, click outside of your group, and I want you to notice here, we want to cut an opening for the stairwell, okay? So, um, what I want to do is um, draw in our flooring, but I'm going to have to make sure that the floor or our components are hit up. Uh, visible so we can draw on this. So I'm going to go control H to reassemble. And I'm just going to take the line tool and draw a line straight across in the red direction here. Kind of close that opening. Looks like my frame is sticking up out here. Happened. What did I do? I did not draw in the uh, correct. And then my, my door is a little off here for some reason. Anyway. Alright, so again. I'm going to trace that entire There we go. So now I think I should be able to delete that. Nice. There you go. Drew that on the wrong layer. Wouldn't you know? <laughs> Who can I blame? Alex, sorry. All right, so we're going to cut those lines, X, and then we're going to open up, and then we're going to paste in place. There we go, and then I can delete. 
Uh, first, I gotta push that through, I guess. Since that is a thickness, uh, push that through. There we go. So that's what we want right there is that offset opening for the flooring. All right. Now, the next step, I want to keep this uh, foundation the size of it as it is. So I want to make a copy of it basically is what I want to do. And then... Um, that way we can have one for our elevation views, one for uh, the floor plan view. So I'm just going to edit, copy, or control C for copy. And then um, I think I can just paste that in place. And that should give me two of them. If I hide one, that'll leave me a second one. And then I want to edit that foundation. Now basically we want to just push pull the bottom of this foundation so it's a total of nine feet I believe we made that at two feet but let's just take the tape measure real quick yeah that's two feet so we just want to add seven feet total with the push pull All right. Okay, so what I did was I took the foundation that was originally just two feet tall, copied it, pasted it right in place. So that gave me two of them, one right on top of the other. I hid one. That's just going to be for my elevation views later on when we go to uh, print out our elevation views. And now this one's going to be for the floor plan of our basement. And then I opened up that group, pulled it down seven foot to give it a total of nine feet in height. Okay. Is everybody with me so far? No. 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 All right. So let us pause here and then we'll get people caught up. If you look up here for a second, um, there's a couple things that we have to calculate when we do our steps here. Uh, there's some terms that you need to understand. You have um, the total rise, which is from the opening of the staircase at the top. And then you have your total run, which is the length of the staircase. And then we have an angle that the pitch or the steepness of the steps are set at. And then we have what we call a rise and a run. So you can see... The run is the width of the step itself. The rise is how high the steps are. Now, we can sit here and we can kind of figure out exactly um, what the size of each step and how high we need to rise them uh, is. Okay? But we have this nifty little calculator that will figure it out for us. So if our total rise, if our, from our ground level on the basement, to the height of the subfloor or the flooring, what did we put that at? Nine feet. So I want to enter nine foot in here. Nine foot. Now our run, if we measured that out with the tape measure tool, I believe we had an opening of, of roughly 10 feet. Um, of, of total run. But uh, we're going to set our run for the individual step about 10 inches. That's your average width of a step as people are stepping on it to go up or down. So we're going to leave that at the default and then we're going to choose calculate. Now if our run was 10 feet, if we had 10 runs, I mean, in other words if we had 10 steps, um, we would have 11, in, 11, um, 11 inch risers, or excuse me, 9 inch risers, and we'd have 11 of them. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, if I remember right, um, let's 
set it there. So yeah, the width of the opening or the, or the run of the staircase is right, roughly 10 feet. Okay. So if we look again at that website, um, so our our total run down here is 10 feet. Now that's 10 feet, 10 inches. Nine feet, twelve inches. That's ten feet right there. So we have twelve, twelve, twelve steps. Okay. Now I want to hide the rest of my model. Control H. Control H. Control Alt H. So that all I have is my opening or my subflooring. For the opening and the foundation. And I want to just create a rectangle. So I'm going to just take R for rectangle and I'm going to make it the same size as this opening right here. And once I make that, I want to group it. So control G. Alright. So hide everything. And then create the rectangle over the opening of your subfloor or flooring, and then group it. And then once you've got it grouped, we're going to edit that rectangle. Make sure you have Control H on there. All right, so we have this rectangle that's just going to represent our steps here. And um, we want to push pull that rectangle down nine feet. So push pull, type in nine feet. Type. All right, so now the next step, I'm going to show you a trick on how to get an equal number of of lines in here okay so eyes up here and watch me for a second and then I'll have you do it all right so I want to select the edge top edge which is the top of the steps here I want to select that and then I'm going to copy that so I hit the control key with the move tool selected and I want to put it all the way down at the end Exactly the nine or the ten feet in length there. Okay. Now I am going to simply type in twelve followed by the backslash key or the divided key, and that's going to divide that into twelve equal steps along my rectangle there. Okay. Do I need to repeat one more time? All right. So I take and select that top edge, which is representing the top edge of the steps, okay, or the very corner or the very first step. And I'm going to copy that with the move tool using the control key and move it all the way to the end of that block. And then where it says endpoint. And then I'm simply going to type in 12 followed by the backslash key or the dividing key and hit enter. And that's going to give you 12 equal steps in that 10 feet span. So we don't have to sit there and try to figure out, okay, I need 12 steps. How many times or what's the width of each step? SketchUp does that for us. Okay. So now we simply look back at our 
chart here, and we have 12 runs, and the height of each run or each riser is 8.31, which is the same as, uh, I believe, 8 and 3 sixteenths or something like that. And uh, so all we have to do now is use the push-pull tool, and we're going to push the second group or second step down 8.31 and enter. Okay, and then I'm just going to double click on the rest of the steps because I'm going to maintain this 8.31 throughout the stair stepping process. Now, oh, come on. And then I'm going to just keep going down 8.31. Should just be able to double click until you just keep going down until you get to the bottom step. So it's just a matter of maintaining your double click and going down the steps. If you miscalculated, you need to, uh, all you got to do is pull that bottom step out one foot, draw another line at the midpoint, and then go down three-eighths of an inch. Eight point three one, and uh, let's see. Eight point three one is actually five sixteenths. So, all right. So our steps aren't quite finished because if you look on real houses, you really don't see steps look like. Uh, the Great Pyramids of Egypt, but uh, we have to remove a little bit of the extra material here. So I'm going to use the tape measure tool. If you watch me for just a sec, and then you can do this. T for tape measure. I'm going to pull down a line. And then pull over a line. So now I've got the outside edges marked of the uh, steps. So now there's my runner, and I can just use the push pull, push that away. There's my staircase. 
and then delete my construction lines. All right, so let's pause here. While we have the steps here, make sure you put that group, the stair group, into into uh, the um, entity. Excuse me, entity info, and you want to add it to architectural stairs. Catch, John. Thank you. So if you haven't done this, you need to make sure you add a floor to the basement. So R for rectangle. And then I'm going to group it. Control G to group. Double click. And then I'm going to pull it down like or, no, I want to push it up like four inches. No, pull it down. Yep, that's your typical slab for your floor. Four inches. All right. Now, did everybody put their stairs into their um, correct group? Okay, so one thing we want to do in our floor plan heavy, I believe. So we want to go to LO heavy plan. Now, if you did everything that I did and you had the correct layer on for the stairs and if you go to your scenes and then make sure you're on LO heavy plan and then you have layers toggled on you should already have the check mark for stairs if not put it in and then update your scenes and now your stairs will appear also make sure your floors are toggled on that way it will hide that last, last step that appears to go beyond the wall, which is fine. It's in the basement. Okay. If you had to toggle any of those layers on, make sure you update your scenes. And then uh, 
you should be able to see them in the uh, layout now. So we were able to add those stairs in those uh, in this new layout. So I guess the next thing is just to check your layout and make sure that those are in there. All right, well, make sure you save everything, and then we'll probably wrap everything up and try to put it all together next couple of days.